Hey Amanda, happy Thursday. I'm sorry you haven't heard from me in 10 days. It's... The funny thing is, is it hasn't really been that crazy. I just haven't been in like the best brain space and like it has been crazy enough that I've like allowed myself to be busy by it even though I know that I could have made time to make you videos and it's just, just, it's been crazy. So I'm going to attempt to um, remember everything that I would have told you about. I, um, last week, yeah, like not, not early, like last week was pretty crazy because I, it was like reading week, which was like the week of no classes where, you know, everyone was supposed to be studying for their finals. Um, and I just like went a little crazy. I, one night I, um, had been drinking with, um, with Jackie and she went to bed and I was bored and decided that I didn't want to go to bed yet. And it was two o'clock in the morning. And so I asked this guy in my fiction sequence to go sit out by the lake with me and we did, and um, no nothing happened or anything like that. He was super Christian Jesus freak. Um, but um, we just, like, sat on the rocks by the lake and, like, watched the sun come up. So then I was exhausted all the next day. And then that next night was our, like, last fiction sequence dinner where, um, you know, we all, you know, we've been together all year. You know, that's, like, my super small, like, 12-person class um, that we've been, you know, working and writing together all year. So it was, like, our final goodbye dinner. And then, of course, we got super drunk that night. And then, so the next day I woke up and I was super hungover and da 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 da, -da. And, like, super tired. And I just, like, and then I had to like, get into, like, writing mode and essay mode and, like, play reading mode. So then I, like, tucked away for a while and, like, worked on that. And then I just have been having, like, a bunch of mini life crises and stuff. Um, yesterday, I there was this job or, like, this internship at, like, a literary agency in Chicago that specialized in, like, young adult fiction and like children's fiction and I got down to like the reading a manuscripts interviewing stage of it and like had to write a reader's report on that and like got that back to it but I never heard back from the woman and so I was like oh I probably didn't get it and so like that was better but then yesterday I woke up to an official rejection from that internship which just like not not cool and it was like upsetting because like in the rejection she was very nice and like outlined like how I would have been a great candidate and like how it came down to me and another girl and but in the end she went with the other girl um because the only difference between us was that she had prior you know publishing or like prior experience in children's publishing and that just like really upset me and it like makes total sense like I'm not like mad or upset with like with like the way that it turned out but all I could keep thinking is like this was an internship I wanted to get this internship to get some experience in children's publishing so then I could get a paid job in children's publishing. If I can't even get an internship without experience, I just don't know where to go from here, you know? So I just, like, freaked out and called mom and wound up, like, crying at her in public because I didn't anticipate that I was going to cry, and so I'm just in public calling mom to let her know that I got the official rejection because every time I call her, she asks about it. And so finally I was like, yeah, mom, and then I just, like, wind up crying and, like, I just, no one is hiring me for anything. Um, and then I, like, had, like, a mini breakdown where I was like, I have never gotten anything like on my own like even my glamour internship was only given to me because I go to Northwestern and it was like a guaranteed part of my program and so like I just like and then like my internship the summer before was with like an old professor of mine who knew me and so like all I'm just thinking is I'm never going to be able to get anything based off of my own merits and I just like have been so that's the headspace that I've been in lately and I, I graduate a week from um tomorrow and I get to see you a week from yesterday so that's really exciting so hopefully I could you know quell my um my self-loathing and life crises long enough to enjoy graduation without you know flooding myself in a in a pool of tears um then let's see oh I got a knock on wood or wall knock on oh, knock on some wood um, I got a nannying job for the summer that is not completely um, set in stone yet because she's still calling my like character references to make sure that I'm not a, you know, a serial killer um, and that I am who I say I am. But it's um, it's a pretty sweet gig. It's for a month. It's like 10 hours a week. And then for the next month, it's 20 hours a week. And um, it's, uh, you know, cool. Um, two, two kids, $15 an hour, really close to my apartment. So it'll be, it'll be sweet. I'll be able to pay my rent, which is nice. Um, and then let's see. Oh, there is this weird thing. Hold on. I'm going to open it up. Uh, I got this email today. My English department every once in a while sends out to like its English students, um, like opportunities. And so I get this weird email today. That's just like a forwarded email. Um, 
And it basically, I don't, I guess I don't need to read it to you because it's not that interesting, but it's from this guy who is a publisher at like this publishing house in, in California. And like, usually they only do like, they're, they're like an educational academic like publisher, but like they do publish fiction, but it's usually like the fiction that you read in school. You, you know what I mean? I, like, I'm trying to think like, ugh, I don't even know. Like, you know, those bad series books that, you know, are obviously only made for, like, to, for young readers, like, in an academic setting that parents would never pick up on their own. But, like, you know, you read in school, like, the Magic Treehouse series or so that kind of, that kind of fiction. And the guy is having a, his latest endeavor is, like, a teen imprint, which, I don't if you don't know, in publishing houses, they have imprints, you know, by genre or by um, fiction versus nonfiction, whatever, um, um, so yeah, so it's an imprint. It's like a subcategory of the of, of the publishing house. And so he's opening up a new teen imprint, um, quote unquote, with a bit more edge than we have done in the past. Um, the imprint is tentatively known as Black Diamond Publishing, and we are pu planning to publish 108 books through 200. Uh, two <laughs> I didn't forget that through 216 <laughs> through 2016. And then um, I'm reaching out to you, aka my English department, um, because we are searching for a, a new group of creative young authors interested in writing teen fiction. This is a great opportunity for real world experience and professional and a professional paid writing project. And so basically, um, if you apply and uh, they're looking for people to, I don't know if it's ghostwriting, I don't know if your name would be attached to it, but basically they have like a list of books that they want to write because in order to, you know, Usually, you know, in, 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 uh, within an imprint, um, you know, a uh, literary agent will, you know, try and sell books to publishing houses and then, they'll, and then they'll sell them. But for new imprints, they need kind of like a foundation of books in order to get their name out there. And so they are, um, they are looking to hire writers to write, you know, the first round of books for their imprint. And they have like concepts. And so basically like what they're they, they're just like looking for people to write these books and they're like shorter books like only like like novella length books like not even like full novel length books and like it's paid and I'm like this is weird and I like didn't know what to think about it because then it goes please note that this is a ready-made opportunity meaning that the project has already been fun funded and the books will be published there is no gray area associated with these titles each um each book will be blah 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 words contract will be a work for hire basis with a one-time payment um, we will we'd be hiring 20 up to 20 new authors by um, blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, hmm, I can ghost write a, a book. And so I sent them my, um, my, like, they asked for like a writing sample. And I shamelessly was like, here's my writing sample. And by the way, if you're opening up this new imprint and are looking to expand your editorial team, I just recently graduated would be like, would jump on the opportunity put, to put myself up for an editorial assistant position. And, um, I, I don't know if they even like read that part or are taking it seriously, but um, the guy um, emailed me back and set up a, a phone interview where they could, um, they, so I, I take it they've read my writing sample and that they've, um, I've, I've moved on to the, the next stage of the process, but basically what I'm going to do now is they're going to send me a list of titles, um, or like, you know, concepts that they're hoping to write, and I'm going to like pick one and then do like a, uh, like write a couple of pages from the first chapter and then do like a some concept I don't know it's this is I'm sorry this is so boring and I'm just like searching around on my computer for this as I as I kill time in this eight minute video so far um but hey I missed two videos and this is making up for it what can I say um but um email me back um yeah oh and so it's a concept package is the word that I'm looking for. And they said that in the phone call, they were going to explain to me what a concept package is. But basically, I, I assume that's just like going to be like outlining the story and the characters and like showing like what I intend to do with their like concept or whatever. Um, and so and then if I do that and then I get it, then I guess I'm going to write them a book for money. But we'll see how much they're going to pay me first. Um, but the funny thing is, is I like, I like have no idea if they like, they like were just ignoring my shameless, my shameless like, hey, please hire me as your editorial assistant in this new position. Um, or if I can like try and schmooze my way on the phone. Can you imagine? Anyway, it's like a very weird opportunity. And I don't know how I feel about it. Like I almost feel like I guess I'll wait and see like what the concept what the concept work is because I think this could be like a really cool opportunity to be able to like work with an editor like to like be on deadline and like have to write a book you know what I mean and it like won't be like whatever and then I could like 
have the experience of working with an editor. I don't know. I'm just like getting way ahead of myself. But I know that I want my first book to be Saving Ronnie Hannigan. Like there is no getting around that. So like maybe I could publish this under a different name or something. Um, I don't even know. Anyway, there's your 10 minute video. I'm not going to cut this down. You're just going to have to fucking deal with it. Consider this your three videos that I missed. Two videos that I missed. I don't even know anymore. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm four, five, like a week. I've, it's been 10 days. That's a lot of videos. Bye. <laughs> See you soon.